Hello everybody and welcome to my tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about how to set up and fix the left audio only issue with your Focusrite Scarlett Solo. Now this will work for the, I believe, the first or second gen if this is an issue and even the 2i2 version of the Scarlett. So this is going to be a very broad tutorial for most of the Focus Scarlett systems. And uh, basically if you're not having this issue then you don't need to do this fix, but if you are having this issue here is the fix and the process that you can go through. Now this is also a setup, so I'm going to really quick mention that if you first get your Scarlett, you plug it in via USB, you plug your headphone in, you plug your mic in it, you're really excited to go, nothing's there. You go to your audio playback devices and nothing is showing up. It's showing up for me now, but that's because I downloaded the drivers for it and that's what you're going to need to do. You cannot plug it in directly and have it work. What you have to do is you have to go to focusrite.com and basically then you're going to have to go to downloads right here just like that and you're going to select the system that you have so you're going to go pick your product type and we're going to go down to all the way down here and we're going to pick solo new gen pick whichever version you have and then you're going to pick your product range which is going to automatically do that for you because we picked that so it's going to do that automatically and you're going to have this driver right here now Here's my personal opinion on this. Click more details. You can get that driver version by clicking right here, but this will not work if you want to use the Pro Tools pack that comes with your system for free, such as um, Audacity or some other bunch of stuff I'm not really up to date on. But it will not work unless you get this one here. So you click. You, you can't use the Pro Tools first DAW software. If you, do, you, if you do want to use your Focusrite Scarlet with the Pro Tools pack, click here. and It'll bring you to this new page. And this is the one. This is for Windows only, mind you. You're going to scroll down to the bottom. This is the one you're going to want. You just download this. It's going to bring it up over here. This is going to be it. You're going to double click, launch it, go through the install process, and boom, click over here. It will show up for you as a USB. So then here you will accept this as playback and accept this as recording. Now though, let me show you something. You will not be able to record in stereo. By that I mean the left and right audio channels of your headset unless you have the setting set. And what the setting set is, we're going to double click and we'll make sure we're under recording. So let's just show you the full process of how to get here. You're going to right click down here on your, um, little, your little head thing and go to playback devices. Reversely, you could just right click, I'm on Windows 10, down on this little Windows symbol, then click control panel. Then go to Hardware and Sound, and here Sound, Manage Audio Devices. That's the long way. I prefer down here, but that's the other way if you can't find this. And we're going to go to Recording, and then we're going to double-click Focusrite USB. And now what we're going to do is go to Advanced. Right now, I have mine set to one channel, 24-bit, 4,800 hertz studio quality. This means it's going to take all the channels and force it into one global channel via being both ears stereo. By default, you're going to be here, two channel. Let's apply this. Let me show you. This device being plugged in another game, if you don't, it will stop working. That's okay. Record. Here it is. And I'm just going to do a little voice test to show you what I'm talking about here. Which, uh, if you're having this problem, you probably already know what I'm talking about. What We're going to do this anyway for the sake of uh, comparison. And, uh, okay, we have that done. I'm going to stop recording. Now we're going to listen to this problem. You probably already know what now, I'm talking about. What you can hear this, this is only coming out of the left of, uh, ear. Comparison. My left and, ear. If uh, you have okay, a pair of headphones on, you can tell this. Stop if you recording. don't, if you're using your desktop on your computer or something, you're not going to be able to hear this. But if you put a pair of headphones in, your ear pods or something, you you're going to hear. know what I'm talking about. What we're going to do this anyway for the this sake of This is coming out of comparison. only the left ear. Now, if we take this and we put this to the single channel and apply it, We're going to, couldn't finish, auto save is billion. Oh, it's okay. We don't have to worry about that. Hello, hello. Microphone test, how is this sounding? We're going to finish that. Let's play and listen to this now. Hello, hello. Microphone test, how is this sounding? You can see right there, big difference. We're going to listen to this one. Problem. You probably already know what I'm Left ear about. only. What? Take this one. Hello, hello. Both ears. Microphone and this will go test. globally because this is a global control, this tab. So this will globally do it for all your applications. So you're not going to have to worry about that for anything. Any audio recording, TeamSpeak, Discord, Skype, 
Um, you name it. Having it come out only one year is very annoying. But, um, yep, that's it. And uh, I think uh, also I could mention a little bit, too, that uh, make sure you have your, if you're also having trouble with your uh, Focusrite Scarlet, make sure, and you, like, uh, you can't hear your voice or something with it, make sure you have the audio ticked on for direct monitoring. I mean, uh, I know that's something that uh, you guys probably might think that's pretty obvious, but uh, I did not know that. So uh, maybe if anybody else there that was a little confused on that, like I was, might uh, appreciate this little comment. I know it seems like it probably is straightforward, but uh, I was confused by it as well. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. If you found it helpful, please leave a thumbs up. If you found it not so helpful, leave a thumbs down. If you feel like your feelings are more complex than that, then please leave a comment in the forms below and if you also are having trouble say this my method i just showed you here didn't work hit me up with a comment i love helping people love fixing problems let me know also feel free to check out my website at epicjcreations.com you can view tons of my cg work that i do every day with an ongoing daily render series that you can view on my instagram right here making cool stuff like this which that's debatable whether that's cool or not for me. I find that pretty cool. But um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.